Gary, explain to me if you can um, why there's always naturally occurring radiation. Why in cities, particularly in urban areas, why do we get readings? over a city, you would expect to see some radiation. You're looking for a different level that would indicate a problem. Indeed. If you could explain why uh, that's important, why we map it. Why, how does the map help you? Well, doing a map of a city uh, periodically will establish a baseline of what levels of radiation are on the ground. So if there is an incident, we can pull out that baseline map and it'll give emergency responders and officials a basis so if you see, for example, if there's an incident... The big stone building there, perhaps it's um, near a hospital where there, there might be medical lights at home. So you're looking for something that's always there as opposed to something that just may pop up, because that would then be a suspect. Yeah, something that just pops up would definitely be suspect. Okay, got it. Thanks. like this, we're now in downtown D.C., in this environment, you would expect from all the stone to get radiation readings. Yeah, there'll be a background reading here. Now, over the mall area, where we are now, over the mall area, because there's a green expanse, there, there would be lower levels, is that reasonable? Yes, sir. So then if something were to pop up on the mall, that would be highly suspect. Give me an explanation, if you can, as to why it's better to be relatively low. We're relatively low here over the ground. 